great to have you here, all 1,000 plus of you. How fantastic is that? I will start by saying thank you, Libby Kilpatrick. Libby jumped onto the Beyond the Pink Door Facebook group and encouraged others to come and watch and subscribe. And thank you, Libby. That was really, that was a wonderful surprise and a heartfelt thank you to you and also to all of my wonderful subscribers. Hopefully you new people, you're enjoying some of the back content, you've watched some of that. Um, hopefully you'll hang around, tell your friends, come on over, it's totally free. It'll only cost you a smile and a laugh every, oh look, I'm not going to put some sort of time frame on it because we all know how unpredictable I can be. So, while we're talking about subscribers... I thought I would give a quick shout out to a couple of the other um, Australian YouTube channels that I watch. There's probably more out here, but I just haven't found them yet. If you know of other Australian channels, put them down in the comments so that I can go and check them out too. But I'd like everyone to go and check out Emma or M from Southern Cross Stitches. She's coming up to her 500 subscribers. So jump on board. Emma's moved, she's setting up her new sewing space, so we're all interested in following that um, excellent journey. And also um, Katrina at Create Something Pretty. I know she's coming up to about 900, so go on, go and have a look. Um, Katrina is in Melbourne, and that's So Something Pretty. And M is in Queensland, and that is Southern Cross Stitches. So I'll pop links in the bottom. Go over, check those girls out. Us Aussies, we're a fun bunch to come and hang around with. You'll never know what we're going to say. Now, I'm very excited because I finally, finally got my Beyond the Pink Door box 18. So I was wrapped. I was even more wrapped because this morning when I was watching the Sunday Night Live on Catch Up, um, Andrea announced that the advent calendars have gone on pre-sale. So thankfully... <laughs> Thankfully I got in and managed to snap one of those bad boys up. Now she did say in the live that there she's looking at about 500 so there's going to be some left. So if you if you watched my channel last year or any of the other channels that um, opened the Beyond the Pink Door advent calendar and it tickled your fancy, then make sure you go and check it out. I'll pop a link down below, of course, um, and grab yourself one. Um, so for me here in Australia, it cost me uh, $164 Australian. That was including the postage. Um, and I'm not upset about that. Uh, I've looked at others that have come out and Andrea's is reasonable very reasonable and excellent now in saying that she did say that they're actually going to do something different this year so it's going to be a 12 days of Christmas but there's going to be things in between the days so I don't know what that means if you're interested um, pop on to her live from this morning Australian time or um, yesterday Sunday the 6th of August I nearly said July we're in August oh my god we're in August um go and take a look so apparently it's going to be different she's going to change it up a bit which is great um for this year and yeah treat yourself okay back to beyond the pink door boxes <clears throat> let's get into it I'm not sure if there was anything else I was going to say but I know that there's a new box in here, so I'm very excited about that. I'm not going to look, not going to look. I'm going to not look and try not to cut the box open so that we can all see together. No, that's not. Oh, this is difficult. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? One, two, three. 
Oh, oh, wow. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow. It's, it's like a whole bunch of Liberty or art gallery, a whole bunch of prints all together. Look at that. Have a look at that. That is just so beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So it's not a sticker anymore. It's actually written on there. Beyond the Pink Door, Think Pink Soscription Box. And the sticker, which you can barely see, says, Enjoy the Little Things. Have I got that right? Yep. Oh, that light's not very good. I haven't placed that very well, have I? We all know how good I am at this stuff. There we go. That's a bit better. Sort of. Anyway, we've looked at it enough. Let's open it up. Okay. I'm not wearing anything me made today. This is a knit sweater that I bought, I don't know, years ago. Um, and a scarf. I think I've probably even worn these in another video. Anyway. Okay, let's have a look here. It's summertime and a living is sneezy. <laughs> As a hay fever sufferer, I can absolutely agree to that. Now, it's not summertime here, of course. Um, it's winter here in Australia. Um, however, that doesn't mean that every now and then on a nice warm day, which we've had a couple of, you know, some of the trees start to bloom and yeah. Okay, now my, now another thing Andrea said in her um, live was that this box, she hasn't actually put the colorways, any of the different colorways on the postcard. So what is on here though, is that it's the July subscription box 18 also that um it's the this month i'll put my teeth back in this month's box contains two 1.5 meter cotton jerseys oh i love that and there are three colorways available now the reason that she did that was that if if someone watches an unboxing, whether accidentally or they choose to, um, they'll see what that person received, but they won't see what the other colorways are. That way it's still a surprise, which is a great idea. I'll still avoid everybody else's videos, um, but yes. So, oh, scan this code with your phone or iPad to access the ebook which accompanies this month's box an ebook wow that's pretty cool i'm not going to show you because it's mine so there we go it's spring is coming actually tomorrow in fact is in bulk which is the in between um it's the returning of the light it's celebrating um the return of the light um and saint bridget um so i've got my little altar set up here with the uh, with my little goddess um, colors for St. Bridget or for in bulk are white. So I've got a white um, clear quartz crystal down there. Um, there we go. I just thought I'd mention that. Um, I don't know why, but I just thought I would. So in here we have our package beautiful absolutely gorgeous sticker which matches i'm pretty sure yes it matches this one right here beautiful 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 okay let's open her up two pieces that's exciting i am starting to think about um warm weather sewing actually Oh, and I'll tell you about um, the progress that I'm making after. Oh, okay. So we'll start off with the edibles because I can see there is one. And we have an I Love Cookies. So this is the Foods of Athenry. 
I love cookies lemon poppy seed cookie look at the size of that that is an impressive cookie I love lemon and poppy seed or orange and poppy seed as well I love citrus so that is going to go down a treat so I shall enjoy that I may well enjoy that tonight actually not sure if I'll do my editing tonight because Chris isn't here so <laughs> look I'm gonna take a quick photo because Freya and Sia are in here with me Freya has started going to doggy daycare now as you know when we got Freya she was eight weeks old she's now 14 weeks old um, and she's grown considerably however of course she's not fully house trained she's not fully crate trained yet so leaving her with just Sia as a babysitter is not going to work so we have found a local doggy daycare that Freya goes to on the days that I um, work in the office when Chris isn't here. So three days a week for two weeks of each month, at least two weeks of each, each month, she's off to doggy daycare where she has an absolute blast. It's great for her socialization um, and I tell you what, it tuckers her out. I'm going to take a photo and show you what I mean. So you'll have to excuse my very awful, terrible carpet. But this is her. I took one of Sia as well. She's uh, sitting on one of the chairs. Anyway, you'll get a laugh out of that. Um, so, yes, so she's off to doggy daycare. She absolutely loves it. I may pop another couple of photos in for you as well, where she tears around like a mad thing all day um, and returns home and basically carks it. Anyway, back to the box, back to the box. Okay, so we also have some fantastic ribbing now this is actually jersey elasticated ribbing i bought some of this um when andrea first got it in earlier this year i think it was uh, i haven't used it yet um but you can see so it's just like bias binding but it's a rib i don't know if that'll come up properly oh yeah that's probably not too bad so she has these in her store. So um, fantastic for around t-shirt bands. Actually, I think I, I did. I think I used one of these when I made my um, pink and white striped Rio Ringer tee. So um, I'm pretty sure I used the red of this on that particular t-shirt. So fantastic. It's excellent it's just like bias binding but as a rib knit so fantastic for your t-shirts or anything like that um andrea this morning was showing the new ones that she's got in <coughs> excuse me showing the new ones that she's got in store and someone in the comments actually said that it's great for knicker making and also bras so little like bralettes and things like that things that i don't wear <laughs> but great for knickers so that's an option so i thought that was a fantastic idea because i do have a few of those and i do need to make some knickers okay i'm i hope you didn't see that i'm just going to check and make sure oh, oh that now, because there's 1.5 meter or two, so three meters of fabric, here's my colorway. So blue, hopefully that's, so that's a lovely light blue. Yeah, light blue. Okay, so the first one, this is gorgeous. I really like this. Have a look at that. So that is beautiful. So let's have a look at the stretch. Okay, so we've got, oh, fantastic. Really good four-way stretch on that. So there's 1.5 meters of this one. So that's like a little, like a pebbles. 
So it's on the um, like a mid blue background and then you've got a dark blue. Um, so this is like a dark blue. And then this here is sort of, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a yellow or a green. It's a bit like a fluorescent, to be honest. And then it's got the white. So I really like that. Very nice. So that's that one. And then the next one. So similar colours. However, we have a floral. Look at that. That's beautiful. I love that. They are both gorgeous. I really like these. I can easily see a t-shirt out of each of them and then another t-shirt using any of the off-cut bits from both of them or maybe the um, Jennifer Lauren Handmade has recently bought out that t-shirt with the um, what's that called color blocking um, areas that could be a go that might be a go so look at those they are gorgeous and they look fantastic together as well so again um, I didn't see the selvage. I'd say it's, it is. So they're both the same um, manufacturer. So, oh, that's not good. Show, show you the back. So, again, fantastic. Look at that. That is excellent stretch. Very, very good. Very, very happy. Beautiful new boxes. Excellent idea with the two different um, choices of jersey. I really like that. That's a great idea, Andrea very very nice well that is it short sharp and shiny as ever oh that's right i was going to tell you about my um current make some of you may have seen that i posted on instagram the other day i was using those cat little buttons that i got from i think it was the wild at heart um box from the dahlia society so i've changed what i'm making <laughs> surprise surprise I've changed what I'm making uh, I am using that absolutely beautiful twill um, viscose twill and I'm using the cat buttons on it so I think what I'm going to do don't don't uh, hold me to this um, because I've been trying to sew these buttons on all weekend Chris has gone back to work as I said so I've got both the dogs and Freya is like having a dozen toddlers she just constantly constantly um active which is exactly what you is are you getting in a puppy like seriously this is not a surprise to me of course um she's doing so well I weighed her last night when we first got her uh, at the age of eight weeks she was 4.5 kilograms uh, as of last night she was 13.4 kilograms at 14 weeks uh, Sia is 13 kilograms at 12 years so Freya is now officially taller than Sia as well um <laughs> I would like to say I'll get a picture of them sitting nicely side by side. I can guarantee that's not going to happen. Sia is not going to want to be involved in that at all. One, she doesn't like photos anyway. She will never let me take a photo. Not a, not a nice one where she poses. She will do that for Chris all day long. Me, no, no. But sitting next to Freya, no. <laughs> She's been very good with her, though. She's um, she's let Freya know that she is the adult in the room. Um, and that's because the size difference is now starting to really um, become apparent. She is very quick to correct any sort of um, naughty doggy behaviour. Um, but Freya is coming along really, really well. She, she now sits on command. Um, we are teaching drop. So she's dropping. Um, she still needs some encouragement with food to do that. But, you know, we all take time. She's also at the point where I can put her food bowl on the ground and she will wait. 
She doesn't wait until I tell her to release, till I release her, but she's, we can get the bowl to the ground now. So every day is an improvement. She walks like a dream on the lead. No problems there at all. Um, she's wonderful. She's doing really, really well. So anyway, thank you for being with me. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a like, give it a share. I don't think I've ever said that. Um, actually probably find a good one to share. Oh, this is probably a good one. This isn't too bad. Um, but yes, so I'm pretty sure there's another box incoming. So, um, I will see you here or maybe not here. It could be over there. It might be outside. Um, I'll see you here at the hay meadow sometime in the very near future for another box. Great to have you here. See you next time. Bye.